Effective ways to stop your spouse from yelling at you. Conflicts are an inevitable part of any relationship. It often takes numerous fights, disagreements, and arguments before a couple can truly find their balance. However, more important than the conflicts themselves is the willingness to acknowledge mistakes and apologize. But what should you do if your partner frequently becomes overly emotional and starts yelling? If this happens too often, here are some effective strategies to help stop your spouse from yelling at you. 1. Try to stay calm. You shouldn't respond to your partner's yelling by raising your voice, as this will only worsen the situation. Remaining calm is crucial if you want to maintain control and help your partner calm down. If both of you start yelling, the argument or fight will only escalate. 2. Think about the options to deal with the situation. You know your partner well, so you likely understand some methods to help them calm down. While handling their yelling can be challenging, it is manageable. Consider strategies to address the situation, as you are the best person to determine what will work. 3. Analyze the situation. If you want your partner to stop yelling at you, try to analyze the situation. Are there valid reasons behind their behavior? Do they have a traumatic past that still affects them? Understanding these factors might help you handle the situation more effectively. 4. Don't agree with everything they say. When your partner is yelling at you, they might start blaming you for various things. In such cases, avoid agreeing with their accusations. Agreeing with them validates their claims and gives them more reason to continue yelling. 5. Try to calm him down. Yellers often lose perspective when they're angry. Try to bring your partner back to reality to help calm them down temporarily. Later, you can discuss the situation calmly and work things out. What to do when your partner doesn't want to be intimate. Intimacy is crucial in a relationship. It involves creating a deep, meaningful connection with your partner, fostering a closeness that strengthens your bond. Without intimacy, building a strong relationship and establishing trust can be challenging. However, if your partner doesn't want to be intimate, it can make the relationship a struggle for both of you over time. Neither partner will feel happy or secure, complicating the foundation of the relationship. Here are some steps you can take if your partner doesn't want to be intimate. 1. Talk to them. Choose a time when both of you are less likely to be busy or distracted, and find a place where you won't be interrupted. For instance, some people prefer having difficult conversations while taking a quiet walk. Avoid having this discussion in bed, in the bedroom, or right after a failed attempt at intimacy. 2. Talk to a professional. Sometimes, a straightforward conversation between partners isn't enough to resolve intimacy issues. If being honest and open about your concerns doesn't seem to help, seeking professional help is a good option. Relationship therapy can be beneficial for couples, whether they are facing issues or not. 3. Discuss what's going on in their life. Your partner's lack of interest in sex might stem from stress, anxiety, or issues in other areas of their life. Discuss this with them, and if something is going on, offer your support as they work through it or help them find the necessary support. 4. Discuss likes and dislikes. Couples often have varying preferences regarding sex, which can actually keep the relationship exciting. Therefore, it's important to discuss your likes and dislikes to make sure you and your partner are aligned. 5. Respect their boundaries. It's crucial to respect your partner's boundaries and comfort levels regarding sex. Remember, everyone has different preferences, and what you desire may not be what they want. Discuss what they are comfortable with and understand their boundaries. Most importantly, ensure you have their consent for any actions. 6. Understand that no one is to blame. When discussing relationship issues, stress can sometimes lead partners to blame each other. Before addressing the reasons behind your intimacy problems, make sure to focus on the issue without assigning blame. 7. 
try to come up with some alternatives. If your partner is uncomfortable with a particular sexual idea, consider exploring other possibilities. Discuss different options you might want to try, ensuring you have their consent. Remember, intimacy can be expressed in ways beyond sexual activities, and these alternatives might also be worth exploring. How to break up with your partner nicely. The hardest part of a breakup is having the talk. It can be heartbreaking and incredibly challenging to explain your decision to the person you're about to part ways with. Confronting someone you care about with this news can be daunting. However, the best approach is to handle the breakup in a kind and respectful manner. Here are some ways to break up with your partner gracefully. 1. Be careful to choose the right words. It's important to plan what you will say when breaking up with your partner. Choose your words thoughtfully to avoid leaving a negative impression. Never shout or use abusive language, regardless of how hurt you feel. If you resort to such behavior, the breakup is unlikely to end on a positive note. 2. Provide the proper reason. Avoid being the person your ex recalls as their worst experience. Provide a clear explanation for why you decided to end the relationship. Offering a detailed and concrete reason will help your partner understand why you can no longer continue in the relationship and will provide them with proper closure. 3. Don't blame. Even if your partner has upset you, avoid blaming them during the breakup. Steer clear of the blame game, as it can be very painful for someone to feel they are solely responsible for the end of the relationship. 4. Be the first one to tell your partner. Your partner will be deeply hurt if they learn about your plans to break up from others. During times of confusion when you seek support, avoid sharing every detail. Keep the most crucial information private. 5. Act maturely after the breakup. Avoid sharing every detail of your breakup with others. Take time to heal and grow from the relationship. Maintaining a positive attitude after the breakup is essential for moving on. It's also important not to contact your ex, as both of you need space to recover and move forward. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.